solve the logarithmic equation log x cube to base 3 minus 2 log 3 to base x is equal to 1. So it means we cannot use the laws of logarithm because we have different bases, isn't it? Yes. So you have to recall that when you have log b to base to base a, that is the same as log b over log a. So if you let log b to base a to be x, then it means when you have log a to base b, that is log a over log b. So it means it will be 1 over x. Are you seeing that? Yes. So from here you can see we have log 3 to base 3, we have log x to base 3, here we have log 3 to base x. So this power 3 can be written as a coefficient, isn't it? Power 3 can be written as a coefficient so that we have 3 into log x to base 3 minus 2 into log 3 to base x is equal to 1. We cannot use the laws because we have different bases, so we have to substitute, isn't it? So we let, we can let this, we can let log x to base 3 to be, to be y, isn't it? So if we let log x to base 3 to be y, then it will imply what? If you reciprocal is log 3 to base x, will now be reciprocal, which is 1 over y. y. Because log x to base 3 is the same as log x over log 3. So reciprocal is log 3 over log x, which will now be 1 over Y. Are we together? Yes. So can you do the substitution? When there's log x to base 3, you put y. When there's log 3 to base x, you put 1 over y. It's the same one. So there we have 3 into this is y minus 2 into this is 1 over y is equal to 1, isn't it? So 3 times y is just 3y. 2 times 1 over y, you get 2 over 2 over y. So what do you do? You multiply both sides of the equation by by y to get rid of y in the denominator, isn't it? Yes. So after doing that, what do you get? Y times 3y. 3y squared. Y goes with y, you remain with minus. Minus 2 to be equal to 1 times y is, is y. So you rearrange it in form of a standard quadratic equation, isn't it? So that is going to be. 3y squared plus my plus y coming this side becomes minus y, then minus, then minus 2 is equal to is equals to 0, isn't it? Having done that, you can use the quadratic formula or factorization methods, isn't it? So if factorization has not worked, use quadratic formula. So a product of 3 times negative 2, a product of negative 6, and a sum of negative 1. The numbers are 3 and 2, so which one is negative for you to get a sum of negative 1? 3, the larger one must be negative, isn't it? Meaning the numbers are negative 3 and 2, isn't it? So if you don't use quadratic formula, you just use factorization. Are we together there? So you get 3y squared minus 3y plus 2y minus 2 is equal to 0, isn't it? So the first part here, the common factor is 3y, then into y minus 1, if you remove 3y in the first two terms, isn't it? Then, here the common factor here is positive 2. If then you remain with y minus 1 is equal to... Are we together? So here 3y plus 2, we are using factorization. Are we together? So we have 3y plus 2 times y minus 1 is equal to... What does that imply? It implies either 3y plus 2 3y plus 2 is equal to 0, or y or y minus 1 is equal to? So give me the values of y. The first solution of y there is negative 2 over. If you try to put the other side negative 2, then you divide both sides by 3, you get negative 2 over 3, isn't it? Then the second solution of y, you can see you take negative 1, the other side you get, isn't it? Then what is x? y, you substitute the value of y. What was y? Y was log x to base 3, isn't it? Yes. Y was log x to base 3. So if you start with the first one, what do you have? Y was log x to base 3. So here we have y is equal to negative 2 over 3. So where there is y, put the value of y. Y is the same as log x to base, to base 3, isn't it? 
So loss of logarithm 3 is the base. Negative 2 over 3 is the, the index. Then our x is the corresponding number using logarithm by elimination, isn't it? Meaning negative 2 over 3 is the logarithm of x to base 3 by definition, isn't it? By, by definition, meaning if you have x raised to power a is equals to b, then a is the log of b to base x. Are you seeing that? So b is 2 negative 2 over 3. And you can see b is negative 2. What do we have? Log, log b, what is b? Log b, log b means log x, meaning x is the b, isn't it? Are we together? X is the, is the b, and you can see here, x is occupying position which b is occupying, isn't it? Then you can see, the power a is the power negative 2 over 3. So you can see negative 2 over 3 is occupying the position of a. Are you seeing that? Good. So you solve that by definition. The second one, y is equals to 1. Rather is y. Y is equals to 1. Rather is y put the value of y. Log x to base. Y is log x to base. 3. If you use definition, the first case you use definition. The second case you can maybe introduce log to base 3 on either side of the equation. Because when you have the same base, isn't it? When you have the same base, same base, you can work it out. So 1 becomes the power. So here, you have here x, here is 3. So you can ignore log to base 3 on either side of the equation. So you remain with x is equal to 3. Are you seeing that? Yes. That is when you use the loss. But when you use definition of logarithms, we will see that our y, which is log, which is log x to base 3, is equal to 1. So by definition, it is clear that the base is 3, you put your base 3, the index is 1, then it's equal to corresponding number is x. So you still get x is equal to 3 raised to power 1, which is 3, isn't it? By definition, or by using the laws of logarithms.